In this episode of Zof Talks, we're talking blog posts and articles. So I will basically be putting this as part of my branding series of videos. And we are going to create a, a fresh blog post from a repurposed video. So here I have an action camera video, which is called this uh, is action camera good for photography. I basically click edit on my video in my dashboard, which will open up the video. I grab the title. I go to my WordPress blog. I click create a new blog post. I paste in is is an action for the keyword in YouTube It's better to not have an in there, but I'll put it here because it's more Englishly correct is an action camera good for photography. So now the bulk of the post, this is where the good trick comes in. You open up the video that you created. Once that opens up, I'll show you a very good trick, which is part of open transcript. And the right hand side here, that's everything I say in the video, which is auto generated. I click toggle timestamps. I select the first couple of paragraphs by doing that. I copy it. I go to Microsoft Word. I paste it. I select all and I do CTRL find. And that hat symbol and a P is what I want to find. I replace it with nothing, replace all, it's made 25 replacements, yes, okay, and now that is a nice paragraph which I can add into my post and just correct any blatant mistakes. Welcome to another episode of Zolf Talks Photography. Today we're going to be looking at an action camera for photography. There needs to be a capital. So a little bit of tweaking. I've done quite a lot of investigation with action cameras. I've been lucky enough to review, well, should I say, comma, well, should I say I've been lucky enough because I've been reviewing action cameras that have not necessarily been the best and most expensive cameras, but I've been looking at cameras such as the Vibe, and the Goodman's, and we'll stop it there. And I'll get rid of the rest. That's about a hundred words. And then what I'll do is copy this link. Come on. Copy. Go back to my post. See more here. And put in my video set a featured image which can be something like this is a, a list of my thumbnails that I regularly use I want something with an action camera let's put that in which is a cheap action camera set featured image so now there and their status not pu not published immediately you'll see i've got scheduled articles schedule it there schedule and that is an article which will look like that when it goes live so that is the quickest way to make your youtube videos into repurposed blog posts which you can use on multiple sites Hope you find that useful. I've got a full playlist of these series of videos to help you get better at branding.